to draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for the compound of ammonia? I assume you do, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. Now what's important here is the chemical formula. We need one nitrogen and three hydrogen atoms. But what's also important is the type of bonding. These are all non-metals, and so it is going to be covalently bonded. The nitrogens and hydrogens are going to share electrons. To draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of the compound, we first need to draw the diagram for each of the atoms individually. Let's start with nitrogen. Nitrogen has an atomic number of seven, that's seven protons, and a mass of 14, approximately. 14 minus seven leaves us with seven neutrons. So what I'm gonna do is draw the nucleus here of seven protons, atomic number, seven neutrons, the difference between the mass and the number of protons. And put that all in the first, well, I put a circle around it to show that that's the nucleus. Then I give myself a first shell and a second shell. I know it's gonna need two shells because it's in the second row, but I need seven electrons total and you're allowed to put two in the first shell only. One, two. Now I'm gonna put the extra five in the outer shell. The second shell can hold up to eight, so it's totally fine holding five. One, two, three, four, five. I like to spread them out before I double them up. That's a grade 12 thing. Now I'm gonna to have to draw three hydrogens. Hydrogen has an atomic number of one and the mass of one one minus one is zero, so there are zero neutrons in most hydrogens. That's one proton, zero neutrons. There's my nucleus. The atomic number was one, so you're gonna draw it with one electron in its outer shell, which happens to be just the first shell. Now I'm gonna need three of those. See how it's NH3, three hydrogens. So just give me a second while I copy it out for myself. You're gonna to wanna to copy it out for yourself as well. One proton, no neutrons, nucleus, first shell, one electron, one electron, beauty. Now, nitrogen and hydrogen are both non-metals, so it forms a covalent bond. What that means is that they're going to share electrons. The electrons are going to pair up one from one atom and one from another atom. The way that this is gonna work is that the hydrogen, that electron is going to meet this electron somewhere in the middle. They're gonna pair up. That's gonna form a single bond between the nitrogen and the hydrogen. Likewise, this one will pair up with that one. I'm drawing single headed arrows for like grade 12 reasons as well, but uh, I just show that these two are pairing up somehow. Some teachers will want you to draw a circle around them. I find that confusing with all the circles in Bohr-Rutherford diagrams, but hey, do what your teacher says. You know what I mean? Within reason. So, NH3. We're gonna draw that nitrogen for ourselves again. Seven protons, seven neutrons in a nucleus. Two electrons in the outer, or the first shell, that are not involved in the bonding. And five electrons here to get seven total. One two, three, four, five. That's the same nitrogen that we always had. Now, I say you draw these three hydrogens much closer, but don't let the nucleuses overlap with any part of the nitrogen. What I mean is 1P0N, there is a nucleus. Now I'm gonna need the first shell. The electron from the first shell is pairing up with one of the electrons from nitrogen's outer shell. So I want you to draw that circle and purposefully go through the electron from nitrogen that you're going to pair up with. You need a circle or an oval or something, so go through it, then come back out of that circle that is shown for nitrogen. You're going to intersect it a second time, one on the way in, one on the way out. That intersection point is going to be that electron was contributed and now you have two electrons holding the two atoms together. They are being shared in a single bond. You're going to show that for both of the other hydrogens. There's one, 
go through that electron, come back out. That's the first shell. One proton, zero neutrons, big circle, go through it, come out of it, and at each of those intersection points, dot, dot. There you go. That's beautiful right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten electrons total here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten electrons total here. This shows how the electrons are being shared. This shows that the electrons are shared. This is your final Bohr-Rutherford diagram for the compound of ammonia, NH3. Best of luck.